One of the most important things you can do to make your vibrato sound great is to synchronize your vibrato to the tempo or the rhythm of the song that you're playing over. Now think about it. You wouldn't play chords or guitar riffs out of time, would you? But most people play their vibrato out of time and they're not even really aware of it. Now when vibrato is played out of time, it usually doesn't sound quite as good as it could sound. That makes sense, right? Now, let me ask you a question. Do you even know if your vibrato is in time when you play a solo or a melody? Hi, I'm Tom Hess. I love great vibrato because it's so powerfully expressive and can be very dramatic when played well. Now for years, my vibrato was good, but it wasn't truly great. I learned and mastered the technical aspect of vibrato and continuously worked to refine my vibrato skills further. But something was still missing. Great vibrato has that special something that I just didn't have. I felt really frustrated because I didn't know exactly what the missing piece was. Until one day, I was recording myself playing a solo. I listened back to the recording at half speed. And that's when I discovered for the first time that my vibrato, way back then, was not in time with the song at all. It was totally out of sync. Now once I realized this, I practiced my vibrato until it was in time. And that was the big missing piece. And finally, my vibrato sounded exactly the way I wanted it to sound. And today I'm going to show you how to do this too. Now before we get started, you might want to check out my video on vibrato. It's a 10 step tutorial on how to play vibrato very well. The video that we're doing right now is just to synchronize the vibrato to the tempo of the song you're playing in. All right, so let's first begin by talking about quarter note vibrato. Now I'm going to tell you right now, when you hear quarter note vibrato, especially at a slow tempo, it's going to sound really boring. All right, so I'm not suggesting that you should learn to do the quarter note vibrato because it's an awesome sound and you want to go put it in all your solos. That's not what I'm saying. What I, the reason why we're starting with this is so that you understand and can clearly and easily hear the principle of synchronizing the vibrato to a quarter note and then later when the tempo is increased or we get into eighth notes or triplets or whatever that we'll do in a few minutes, you'll hear how much cooler it really does sound but to get started with the principle, we're going to start with quarter notes. So as you see on the screen, we've got four quarter notes written out. And then the waveform of the vibrato is synchronized to those quarter note beats. Okay, so every time that a beat is happening in the backing track, in the music, or in the song, the vibrato is following that pattern. And again, I'm going to play it here in just a second. It's not going to sound very exciting at all yet at this speed and with quarter notes, we're just getting through the principle and then we're going to get to the cool stuff in just a few minutes. But for right now, check this out. Now let's talk about eighth note vibrato. This is going to sound better. It's not the best yet at this tempo, but it's going to sound a little better. So as you see on the screen, we've got a series of eighth notes. Right? There are eight of them actually. And then you see that the vibrato is now, again, synchronized with each one of those eighth notes. So it's in time, locked in with the speed of an eighth note. Now, just to clarify, it doesn't matter what the, so the background music in the song is doing. It doesn't matter if the guitar or the bass or the drums are playing eighth notes or sixteenths or triplets or none of that really matters. What matters is that there's a definite tempo and that you, as a guitar player doing vibrato, you're dividing the beats, in this case, into eighth notes or sixteenths or, or whatever it may be. So let's take a listen to uh, what this sounds like. All right, so now we're going to get into the cooler stuff, the better sounding stuff, at least in my opinion, and that is the eighth note triplet vibrato. Now, I don't mean to imply that in general, eighth note triplet vibrato sounds better than eighth note vibrato. It depends upon the tempo of the song. 
So in the examples that I've been playing, this tempo is pretty slow. It's actually 85 beats per minute. I'll show you some faster tempo examples in just a few moments. But right now, at this tempo, at 85, the eighth note triplet, I think you may agree, is going to sound better than the quarter note or the eighth note examples. <laughs> So now you've heard uh, quarter note, eighth note, eighth note triplet, and sixteenth note vibrato synchronized at 85 beats per minute. That was the speed of the backing track that I played. Now I've got another little backing track. Again, it's just one chord. It's a B minor chord, and the tempo is bumped up to 120. So I'm going to play all of the examples again, but now at this new tempo and over this new chord. And what you're going to discover here is that previously, when we had the first set of examples over the C major chord at 85 beats per minute, really, at least in my opinion, only the eighth note triplet and the sixteenth note vibrato really sounded good. The quarter and the eighth note were just too slow. Now in this new set of examples, at 120 beats per minute, I'll start off with quarter notes, it's probably still too slow. But now the eighth note examples, which was too slow before, is going to sound pretty good over this new tempo. Eighth note triplets, I think you'll agree, is still going to sound really good. And sixteenth notes might start to get a little too fast where it starts to sound a little bit crazy. So I'll leave that up to you to decide what you like. In fact, you can let me know in the comments which you actually like best here. So let's take a look at example number one. And you see on the screen, we've got our quarter notes here. The vibrato is synchronized to the quarter notes. So everything is the same as before. We're just doing it at 120 instead of 85. All right, so that quarter note uh, vibrato that we just heard was was definitely better than the quarter note vibrato we heard at the slower tempo, but it was still a bit slow. Now let's take a listen. You'll notice on the screen now we're talking about eighth note vibrato, and at this new tempo at 120, this is going to sound quite good. All right, so we're again aligning the vibrato up with the eighth notes, and uh, let's hear how this one sounds. <laughs> So as you hear, that eighth note at 120 sounds pretty good. Now let's take a look at eighth note triplet vibrato at this same tempo. And again, as you see on the screen, we've got our triplets, we've got our vibrato lined up with the triplets, and this is going to sound pretty, uh, pretty dramatic. Now let's talk about 16th notes. Now at this point, uh, at tempo of 120, the 16th notes is going to start getting really aggressive, maybe to the point of being a little bit too much. I'll leave that for you to decide. I still like it at this tempo, but uh, you may or may not. So let's hear what that sounds like. So now you've heard different ways to synchronize your vibrato to the tempo. Quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets, sixteenth notes, etc. And there's a few things that I want to point out to you before we wrap this up. The first thing is, as I said a couple of times earlier, the tempo really matters. So when eighth notes doesn't sound so good at a lower tempo, at a faster tempo, it can sound really good. Sixteenth notes, which might sound really good at a lower tempo, could get to the point where it's a little bit 
getting on the border of maybe being a little bit too much sometimes. I'll leave that for you to decide. Now, also in the examples, you may have heard that the hi-hat in the backing track of the drums was always playing the exact rhythm that I was synchronizing my vibrato to. That's just to make it easier for you to hear. Obviously, you do not need to follow what the drummer is doing or the bass player or anything else when you're using this in real life music. So if the drums and the bass and the rhythm guitar are playing eighth notes, you can certainly do triplets or 16th notes or whatever over that. Don't feel like you've got to lock in to those instruments. You do not. The only goal here is to lock into the tempo, not to the specific rhythms that they're necessarily using. You can lock into it, but you don't have to. And one thing that we didn't talk about, but I want to make a point here, so when you're practicing this on your own, you understand, is that you don't always have to use one kind. So it's perfectly normal and natural to mix it up. So one time you might play vibra a note with vibrato and you play 16th note vibrato there. Another time you might play it as eighth note. Uh, the next note that you do vibrato, you might do eighth note triplet. Okay, so that's common and cool to mix that up so it's not always the same every time. Now, if you like this video, subscribe to this channel and click on that notification bell so that YouTube tells you when I publish a new video and hit that like button. I made this video by request. One of you watching my previous YouTube videos had asked for vibrato lessons specifically on this topic of synchronizing it to a song or to a tempo. So if you would like me to make a particular video on a particular topic, let me know in the comment section. I read all of those comments and sometimes I make new videos based upon what people ask to hear about. If you want to know how to make any guitar lick you know sound even better, I'll show you how in my new free ebook titled The Secret to Adding Fire and Emotion to Any Guitar Lick. It's free. Click on the link below to download your copy and make every lick that you know sound even better.